Guten Tag, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review with your host, JB. And in this one, <laughs> and in this one, I'm getting the giggles already. And in this one, we're off to. <laughs> I'm not. This is about the third time I started this video off. <laughs> um, in this one, we're off to Germany. Well, now we're off to a brewery I've never had a beer from before. Uh, we're off to Flotzinger. And we've got a bottle of their Hell. And this lot are based in Rosenheim. And this is clocking in at 5.2% ABV. And this was also purchased from the House of Trembling Man. Well, I don't know where they got rid of the house. The house is gone. They just called it Trembling Madness now. But originally it was called the House of Trembling Madness in York uh, when I... Cool. We're going about about a month ago. I'll pick this up, maybe even more a month. So let's crack this open because I'm a little bit rusty because this is my first beer review since coming back from Crete. <laughs> let's crack it open, shall we, and see what we get. So uh, I've got the price on the Flotsinger Crown. There's a little bit of a. A little bit of the crown for you. Let's get a whiff, because I'm gagging for a beer. Very biscuity. Really biscuity. Malty. Yeah, it's just like sticking your nose in a biscuit tin. Sticking your nose in a biscuit tin. Let's just pour it out. Let's just pour it out and see what it's like. Can't beat a good old German beer, can you? You know, you would have thought with all this Oktoberfest shenanigans been going on, you get fed up with German beers. I never. Um, I never get fed up with German beers. They're just quality. They are quality, chuggable stuff, innit? At the end of the day. So, let's top it up. As you can see, it's crystal clear. Gold, loads of carbonation. That is a prime. Um, is it the glass? I don't know. I don't think it is one of them glasses, is it? If it is one of them glasses, I've just noticed and I've had this glass about four years. <laughs> anyway, let's just pour it out. Like you do. Um, see if I can get it all in. I don't think I will. She's in. She's in. Right, be in a glass. As you can see, unless you're blind and you're watching this, but if you were blind, you wouldn't be watching this. It's gold. Clear looking, big, foamy meringue head. Let's get a whiff. Yeah, it's just, I'll just move this along. It's, it's got a lot, not, it hasn't got, you know, this video hasn't got enough of my good looking. Good looking face. Anyway, <laughs> let's get a whiff. And it's, you know, is that biscuit tin open again, isn't it? Lots of biscuits going on, malty. So I'm going to go in. Cheers, everybody. Lovely. My first beer from this lot, and it's lovely. Really nice. Nice. You know, with these German beers, I'll never get bored of saying it, you know, the, the mouthfeel is very, very light, smooth, lovely. On the front end, nice wave of biscuitiness and maltness going in um, towards the back end. You pick up a, sl a slight hint of floralness, not much. Um, there is a slight metallicness there in the background. You can just pick it up. Uh, metallic bitterness, if there's such a thing. Metallic bitterness. <laughs> but um, the body of the beer is, 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 is it's a chugger. It's a chugger, you know. It's, it's a beer just, just bloody knock back and have a good old time on, you know. It 
It's a beer brewed for socialising, talking to people, you know, and having a good time. Um, if you're an introvert and you hate people, <laughs> you hate socialising, it's not the beer for you. <laughs> but <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you feel gregarious and you want to go out and, you know, <laughs> have a laugh with everybody and that, this is a beer to start the party off. It, it is. Um, God, I'm coming out with it. I come off. It feels like I've saved it all up while I was being on holiday. Like it's just coming out, blah, blah, blah. All that sarcasm and wit, which gets stored up in me. Um, coming back to this, it's really, really nice. It is lovely. Again, again. As we go in, it does get slightly more bitter as you go in. Uh, that metallicness falls back. Well, yeah, what I perceive as metallicness. Well, not even be metallicness, boys and girls, because it's disappearing now. Uh, <laughs> this is a bit of a shit review. There's a bit of a car crash review. I apologise. You know, seriously, my serious face. JB, get serious. This is a really nice beer. It's very much a great example of its style it wouldn't be anything else and would i buy this one again most certainly in dd i would buy this one again it's absolutely lovely one more for the road it's a good one to cuddle people with you know, spread the love. Boys and girls, I'm talking crap, but I'm not talking crap when I say Flotsinger Hell gets my thumbs up. Um, go out and pick one up. It's lovely. It is. It's lovely stuff. Um, just a great chuggable beer. Thank you so much for watching this beer review. Please subscribe. You're all stars. And you there, you're the biggest star. See you on the next one. Bib bib.